to take the fender off. Now you got max airflow. <laughs> max airflow for all the horsepower. Right. All right, so we're here with Josiah. We got the sidekick. It is legal, legally allowed to be on the road. Uh, still not fully finished. We've had to take the fender off because as you've seen earlier, it was acting like a wing on the freeway. Cut the international. And we're gonna do Wheeler's Pass today just to, cause this is like his first time like actually off-roading. Yeah. His first time actually going off-road was in this when he test drove it. So we're gonna see how well it does, make sure it doesn't break down. And if it does, I have a Crescent wrench. That's the only tool I brought. <laughs> so I'm airing down to like 10 PSI. We're gonna go rip it all the way up to that spot over there, that saddle. Um, do you remember, do you know how to put it in four low? Or four right now. Did you lock the hubs? Yeah. Oh. Yep. Well, cool. Are you going to deflate your tires at all? Um, I don't know. Just yeah, probably test how it feels. Yeah. And then deflate, and then you could see if there's any other changes. Right. I know, for me, it's fantastic yeah. when I deflate. Because they're like a little, they're a little bulging out. I think they're already a little low on air, especially that one. Okay. Um. So I think we'll be all right. All right. So anything else you've done to the, the sidekick since you bought it? Um. I replaced three of the four seat belts inside um dude you got a snazzy seat cover yeah, new seat covers new steering wheel cover Ooh. Uh, got a magnetic phone mount that's cool and then a mr fan that runs off of a uh, so, solar powered battery so pack. that's the ac yep that's the ac that, this car does not come factory with ac unless you buy the higher end trim which is the sport model or jlx jlx yeah JLX. this is a jx so no AC for this guy. No, no, no AC for me either. But cool. Yeah. Oh, well, you can see his fender. Take care. All right, I think I'm deflated enough. So let's let's get going. All right, let's see. Locked in because of the water has made it impassable for us. It's like a four foot drop. And it goes all the way down the road, which sucks. So, uh, yeah, we're going to look for another way around, see if we can't get it up, get it back to the mountain. Found another way around, took a right, and now I'm hoping this takes us in the direction that we're trying to go. I think the trail is right over there. Probably. Oh, going down a really sketchy part. Oh, jeez. Josiah. 
yeah, we found him. But uh, now that I can see him, I can just watch him come back over here. So, should be fine. Should be back up. I'm coming up to the car right now. Hey, buddy. Are you were you okay by yeah. yourself? I did all right. Did you split and die? Yeah, a little bit. You should roll that window down all the way. Oh, so you have a roll up too, dude. You're so cool. I know. We're so similar, but not. <laughs> all right, cool. Let's get back up this mountain. All right. Are you well, actually, hold up. So it is locked, but also I have to make sure that this piece that is still so flat because this is the only one I didn't replace. Okay, we unlocked. Good. Because I was up there, like after I parked, I took this off, and then it was like locked, locked. Like every time I would let it go in more, it was like less, it's just less, less and less, less and less. I was like, no. <laughs> so yeah. holding up, okay though. No issues. No no yeah. no, no new noises. No, not yeah. really. Yeah. So I I thought I heard you at one point, but I was like up there. Uh, oh. Yeah. So instead of taking the at that where it wise out, I went sh straight to the left, and that takes you uh, like up as if you're gonna go up that mountain. Oh, uh, okay, uh, I see. That's where you went. So wait, wait, dude, you didn't even put it in off road mode. Oh shit, you're right. Oh, dude, there we go. So <laughs> there you go. You're gonna do better. Now we'll have like unlimited comms. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, cool. We're gonna watch the sidekick do some work. Turn off? No. Oh. Oh, you got a big rock. Hold on. Hey. <sighs> it's stuck in there. Yeah, go turn your wheel, driver. Yeah, and start rolling and gas it. There you go. Keep going. There you go. You can roll that one out. Roll that one out. Look, now you're you're moving rocks. Oh my gosh, you're moving. Okay. Uh, so it's just a lot of climbing. Just yeah. uh, if you haven't put it in four low, you can try four low and get more uh, more torquey. There's no way the psychic can do it. I believe in it. No, I'm not gonna go up on this one. They should have the. Yeah. the I thought it was out and up, but it's like different when you go to the other one. Neutral. You have to be in neutral, I think. I don't know. Bro, right, you don't need a seatbelt. Seatbelts are for people who are going to roll. Alright, hold up. Back up. Back up, back up, back up. Stop right there. Give it some beans. Did I just go straight here? Or am I yeah, no. Go straight. Go straight. You're not, yeah, you're fine. What? You actually don't fit? No. Oh, jeez, dude. I thought you were smaller than that. <laughs> what are you going to do? I don't think I should go up this. I've already hit. I don't think you should. I either. keep hitting shit on the bottom. I don't think you should. I thought you could fit. Uh, it looked like you could fit from my angle. Bro, we'll put some rock sliders on there. You'll be fine. 
Yeah, go that way. Yeah. You're right. When you come up, start coming this way. Back, so back up. There you go. There you go. Because your wheel's coming off the ground. No, that's perfect. Turn your turn your wheel driver. There you go. There you go. Hey. So the way it works, you know how open dips work, right? Not really. So once one wheel comes off the ground, yeah. the one that's on the ground loses all power. All the power goes to the one floating. So that's what's happening. Your front tire was off the ground and your back tire was off the ground. Yeah. So they got all the power. Okay. So when you stuck it, when you put all the all four tires on the ground, it was able to move. Okay. All right, so we got to the top of Wheeling's Pass. The sign is no longer standing. It looks like it rotted and the wind knocked it down. Josiah, how was your first little trail? Uh, actually, it did really good. Uh, bottomed out a few times we scraped a little bit one long drag but other than that i mean we're cruising what do you think about off-roading how do you like it it's pretty fun actually it's pretty cool it's something different right yeah, it's definitely different it's a challenge yeah. i keep trying to like not grab my shifter because i drive a six speed manual usually oh yeah what do you yeah. drive what do you I drive, drive? Subaru oh. With the oh where's your sci boy um but yeah no i keep like trying to tell myself to stop grabbing for the shifter and just hold the wheel hold the wheel and direct it okay um but yeah no it's it's actually handling a lot better than i thought it was going to to be honest no it did good i think i have more clearance than i'm than you I think, think yeah you have way more than you think yeah that's not too bad nothing fell off no no, no new noises oh yeah it's so pretty Pinstriping, oh, you scratched it pretty good. I'm sure I did in a few places. You're losing, you're losing your door gasket. That's weird. That's a weird thing. I think it was from a tree scrape because I think that's you yeah. have some, you have some what's it called, pinstriping on it. How are you hitting the trees, man? You're so narrow. Because I can't run over the big rocks, so I just force. Oh, so you just throw it into the trees? Yeah. All right. Oh, cool. So somebody put some big old rocks up here. And of course, when you get there, you have to go drive up on them. And while I was down here, or up here, I could definitely use some cleaning. My ball joints are loose. I need to tighten these. I think these ones are loose too. So I have death wobble right now. Um, it comes and goes. So I think I need to tighten those ball joints to try to reduce that. Then, but the hydro steer, um definitely helps reduce it and like makes it barely noticeable but i could feel it still um i have a few projects going on with this right now i'm relocating not relocating but redoing my fuel system um right now i wanted to go off riding with this guy so i just hooked something together it's just this is a tig aluminum piece or, or well, i don't know tig rod from aluminum and this is my vent tube because uh the vent tube the old one was venting in my cab so i didn't want to smell gas all day but right now it works it's whatever but i know i want to i still want to fix it so it uses the factory spot but if that if this one this round third round whatever doesn't fix it i'm going to do something similar like this so i can still go to a gas station because i still cannot go to a gas station and it's super annoying did you fill it up before you came damn we get about the same gas mileage well Take mileage? Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> Dude, look how it's, it's so high. Yeah. <laughs>
pretty much. Thoughts, first first off-roading experience, how did the Suzuki handle? You're all done now. I don't know how many miles we went because I didn't track it. Uh, thoughts? Um, it was good. It was a lot of fun. It wasn't too difficult. Uh, had a easier time going up. I had to slow down a lot more going down. That gravity one. Yeah. Yeah, I bottomed out a lot more going down than I did going up. Okay. Um, but yeah, I kind of learned my limits there. I may have pushed my limits on accident going down. I was going a little too fast. I think I almost went over the edge of one corner we were going through. Oh, really? Yeah. I was probably going like 20 on accident. Um, yeah, I didn't really need to gas at all. I just needed to let off the brake, actually. And even at four low, actually, if I let off the brake, I would have easily hit 25. Your four low is fast. Yeah. Four yeah. low is fast. So. But overall, it did good, um, and I didn't. I definitely bottomed out, but there's nothing leaking right now that I see on the bottom, so I think we're okay. How was your AC that you created? And all your, <laughs> how are your little mods that you it, brought? It went okay, but I don't have anything to secure it down with, so I hit a few bumps, and sometimes that fan was in the passenger floor. Uh, I had to stop and pick it up a few times. Um, I actually eventually, I didn't even have it running the whole time. No, because it, it got honestly, cooler. Yeah, it got cooler. Once it got cooler. Yeah, I as noticed, we went up. As we were coming down, I started at, my temperature inside my cab was 120. Yeah. And then it started going down to 100. So just going up the mountain, cooled it down a ton. Right, right. But yeah, so, but yeah, Vegas life. Well, it's supposed to be 118 today, 116 today. <laughs> gonna be hot. really hot i'm gonna stay once i park i'm inside for a minute oh, yeah. so so yeah cool yeah no it was a lot of fun uh, and i'm excited to do bigger and better things bigger eventually. and better things yeah. time to go to san paulo <laughs> that's where we go do bigger and better things. cool go camping we'll yeah. go figure out some camping setups later. yeah there's some cool camp spots over here um there's water 24 hour, or 365 which is cool there's a few spots with water so eventually i want to go camp over there uh we're the road is blocked off. If you got a buggy, you should try it. That yeah. looks pretty gnarly and fun. But uh, yeah, that's all we got, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Y'all have a fantastic day. See Peace. you guys.